The new Comax C919 is Airbus and Boeing's most dreaded fear here's the reason so this is the Comax C919 the new thin body carrier created by the business airplane company of China or on the other hand Comic it's a carrier which some areas are saying could take an enormous piece of the pie from Airbus and Boeing in what is the Comax C919 what's to come so what's going on with the Comax C919 to comprehend the C919 we first need to go a piece further back so as to where everything started the business airplane partnership of China or COMAC was laid out on the 11th of May 2008 as a gathering of more modest assembling and aeronautical organizations from across China it was established for the planning and development of enormous regular citizen airplane for the Chinese market and past their first carrier was the ARJ-21 a territorial stream which took its most memorable trip in 2008 also entered administration in 2016. With a limit of 105 seats for the biggest variation the traveler conveying ARJ-21s are minuscule as it was Comac's first introduction to the business avionics industry yet following quite a while of test battling postpones it seems as though they're at long last prepared for the following stage in their development enter the C919 the C919 is referenced before as a restricted body aircraft from Comac which started advancement underway this equivalent year Comac was framed back in 2011. Anyway they just became CAAC affirmed in 2022 so it took Comac a stunning 14 years to come CAA guaranteed however this appears to be with perfect timing to ride the rush of China's aeronautics industry now the Chinese flight industry is anticipated to turn into the biggest on the planet by the mid to late 2030s Comac with their sights set on catching a fifth of the worldwide limited body market knew they required something phenomenal to ride this wave they reached skyward delivering bigger airplane intended to take on rivals from each side of the globe. This is the reason the C919 has accompanied a number of specs that make it serious for single path travel in the worldwide aeronautics market yet the worldwide flying market is an alternate ball game to the homegrown market however and it takes more than only specs to be cutthroat anyway specs are still vital also. It's fascinating to perceive how the C919 would coordinate against what might be their nearest airplane rivalry from Airbus and Boeing the Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737 Comac means to rival Airbus and Boeing in what is by all accounts a definitive confrontation in aeronautics Comac has its sights locked on the monsters Airbus and Specs Boeing and the C919 will give them their initial understanding into what they can anticipate proceeding as far as Specs Comac would expect there still to be delivered stretched out range differing to the C919 to straightforwardly contend with the Airbus A320neo and 737 MAX 8. It's a conflict of flying titans like never before now with regards to traveler limit the C919 can hold around 160 travelers in a solitary class setup and a limit of 192 travelers in examination the 737 MAX 8 accompanies a solitary class limit of 160 individuals and a limit of 184 while the A320neo has a limit with regards to 194 in a single class design and a maximum of north of 200 in spite of having the brief fuselage length of the three when it comes to go the C919 will accompany a lengthy scope of around 3,000 nautical miles and it positions very separately close to the 3,112 nautical mile scope of the 737 MAX 8 however it does miss the mark regarding the 3,500 nautical mile mark set by the A320neo and is too lower than the 3,300 of the ordinary A320 what's more this might be because of the way that the C919 has more modest gas tanks that may not be a complete issue but rather it is significant in the decision production of administrators the greatest departure weight for the lengthy reach C919 is 78.9 tons which is lower than the 82.2 lots of the 737 MAX 8 yet marginally higher than the 78 tons of the A320neo shockingly this could be a benefit for the C919. As air terminals will quite often charge something else for higher loads presently with regards to wing length what's more. Level every one of the three airplanes are really comparable with 737 MAX 8 as it were pushing out the level every one of the three airplanes are additionally controlled by CFM jump motors from General Electric in spite of the fact that the A320neo has a Pratt & Whitney PW1500 grams motor choice yet there's not exactly an immense distinction in this examination outside the way that the A320neo is more adaptable when it comes to motors cash talks and the cost of an airplane is significant for. 
aircrafts and flight administrators and despite the fact that COMAC didn't precisely deliver a cost list for their airplanes it's assessed that a solitary C-919 would cost in the district of a little more than $90 million it might sound steep yet when you contrast with the $111 million rundown cost for the A320neo and the $121 million for the 737 MAX 8. The C919 out of nowhere looks like a steel administrators for the most part don't pay the rundown cost at any rate currently as far as specs the C919 may not take the spotlight totally however it has enough punch to be furious contender anyway being sufficient on paper to contend won't be enough for the achievement of the C919 as it faces various hindrances in an ideal world Comac would nearly be ready to ensure that they'll rule a worldwide segment of the flying business sector in the future however this is definitely not an ideal world and they face a large group of issues. To defeat before they can accomplish this first up the speed of creation China is known to be the assembling center of the world and, surprisingly, however their grasp is slackening they stay the main yet notwithstanding this they don't precisely have the fabricating ability to efficiently manufacture airplanes because of the relative multitude of parts required furthermore. They wind up obtaining a considerable lot of the critical parts in flight from unfamiliar producers you see this stance is a major issue since they're oppressed to numerous postponements from different producers so when you add this to this little matter of international strains among china and nations from the west it's a catastrophe waiting to happen that is on the grounds that there's plausible that one of the nations accountable for producing a significant part could force sanctions on china and hold creation of that part for comac the u.s government wants Truth be told thought about hindering an arrangement with General Electric for the motors of the C919 and albeit the issue was settled in 2020 this is the sort of thing that could without much of a stretch repeat later on another issue which the C919 could confront is the absence of confirmations right now it just has an affirmation from the CAAC which is China based and very much like the past issue international pressures might represent an issue in the confirmation of the C919 in the absolute biggest business sectors for example the US and Europe and could committed to interminably fly locally aircrafts have likewise been cautioned against requesting the C919s because of the way that Comic has a tremendous excess with over 1200 orders Comac still intends to increase creation to just 150 airplanes each year this implies it could take near 10 years for any new orders to be filled. Also, when you contrast this with Airbus who fabricate near 65 A320s each month you can tell there's still quite far to go for the C919s now there's likewise a danger related with having to acquire parts from such a large number of various producers this is on the grounds that there could be potential irregularities or quality control issues like parts being subbed because of inaccessibility for instance these difficulties pose a potential threat in any case, with China's immovable assurance prospering nearby interest furthermore. Ambler assets there are bunch ways to investigate these potential outcomes. Could shape not exclusively Comac's future yet additionally the future of the C919 now these challenges are not difficult to survive however they truly do introduce a major challenge for Comac and the C919 to break the duopoly Airbus and Boeing have furthermore. Here's where the story takes an startling turn one that no one saw coming you see for rebound to break the Airbus Boeing duopoly they would have to exhibit the capacity to effectively assemble their planes and since inclining up the creation interaction would be costly they've investigated the probability of collaborating with a producing organization which could make large-scale manufacturing more feasible one of such organizations is the Brazilian airplane maker Embraer and could result in possible arrangement a potential mutually beneficial arrangement you see an association among them and Comac would see Comac buy a larger part stake in Embraer and thusly have the option to utilize their assembling limit that is since Embraer are underwater following the business disappointment of their E-Jet E-2 so they could see an arrangement, for example, this is a chance to clear their obligations and Comac could consider it to be an open door too. Utilize Embraer's offices and innovative expertise to efficiently manufacture the C919 it's killing two birds with the same stone anyway there is one trick regardless of Embraer being a privately owned business the Brazilian government actually keeps up with a denial power in bargains including outside countries and this implies they would require the public authority to give them a pass which could demonstrate troublesome due to the international pressures between the West which the Brazilian government has strong connections to in China so regardless of whether Comac figures out how to get it struck. 
there's as yet a question of traveler opinion particularly as Embraer 2 fabricates protection arrangements and airplane for some nations in the West what's more. With China's not entirely ideal history with security breaks you can grasp the reason why travelers and financial backers wouldn't be okay with the arrangement so the West isn't the main imaginable outer market for the C919 and, surprisingly, however Irish transporter Ryanair has communicated help for the airplane the anticipations that the C919 would initially break into center eastern or even African business sectors truth be told. Nigerian Air which is set to be West Africa's biggest carrier has shown interest in requesting airplane from Comac for their tasks from now on current projections put it that the C919 could take up a portion of up to 30% of the Chinese homegrown thin body by 2035. This is great when you take the age of the airplane into thought however 70 is still a ton for Airbus and Boeing to work with particularly with the Chinese flying market expected to develop by more than 1 trillion bucks by 2040. So what do you think would the C919 b Comac's breakout airplane or will international strain stump the development of one more promising aircraft even with Comac's plans to increment and work on the creation of the C919 they actually miss the mark concerning the necessities expected to contend with their Boeing and Airbus partners on the worldwide stage and, surprisingly, on the homegrown stage their top client Chinese Eastern still has 103 Boeings in its armada still the homegrown market however looks encouraging for them particularly with the Chinese state input. Furthermore, they could utilize this presumably unreasonable advantage as a springboard to accomplish their objective of breaking the Boeing Airbus duopoly on the worldwide stage at some point in the future and based off the issues looked by their rivals there is a genuine opportunity for them.